tarot readings. So I'm all excited about doing some more live uh, readings tonight. And we'll see what kind of questions we have from everyone. And take some tarot. So this is my deck, by the way. So I finished the Kickstarter, waiting on Kickstarter to approve me. And once that happens, I'll put it on preview mode. And then we'll be ready to do some Kickstarter action there and get my deck moving. My Accurate Psychic Readings, the best name ever. Your first indeed. Kelly McKenzie, how are you? The Zen Lee Tarot, how are you as well? How's everyone doing? It is Monday night. Did everyone get over the Monday blues? I know we had a lot of holidays in a row and a lot of days off in a row, so I had to go back to work and go full steam today. Monique. Hi, hello, how are you? Salma, Salma, there you go. All right, Brianna, Tarot Oracle, should I pursue a creative writing career? Carrie, hello, uh, Green Ivy Tarot, what an awesome name, hello. Ari Lee, hello. Angela, welcome back, Angela Boho. And Athena, it's good to see you, good evening to you as well, So Shine 8, hello. And Jen, welcome back. Cherie, hello, and Rowan's Impressions, welcome back. Beck Shaw, it's good to see you. Aura Terry, good to see you as well. If you have not subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. We have 700 videos to choose from. There's something bound to be on here that you will like to watch. We have all sorts of stuff. Judy, it's good to see you. Uh, Monday Blues, indeed. It's not too bad. I sort of like working. I know that sounds weird. I like working because I guess I'm good at what I do. So it's fun for me. Uh, let's see. So BS wants to know, should I pursue a creative writing career? All right. So we will try that out. We got our first question of the day here from Brianna. Thank you for joining Brianna. Let's see. Let's find out about a writing career. We'll use the Thoth. Everyone likes the Thoth. So Toadstool Tarot, by the way, an awesome channel. If you're not subscribed to him, go check him out. He started using the trimmed Thoth. He saw me using it and wanted to try it out. That is a lot of fun. I'm glad that other people are using the trimmed Thoth as well. By the way, after this is printed and distributed and everything else, I'm going to start working on a Thoth deck. Uh, I'm going to make a Thoth derivative deck, basically, and try that out and see how that goes. That could go very badly. Uh, we'll see. But I think I have the artistic ability to make something that looks, uh, you know, kind of fun, that makes it look fun. It's not going to be exactly like that because, wow, I mean, Lady, Lady Frida Harris, that's insane. Angela, thank you so much for the donation. How's my love life looking so far? I do like him. Well, that's, that's a good start for a love life looking uh, so far is when you do like him. We'll try that out after this. Okay, so we got a creative writing career. We are going to check that out and see how that goes. I think that's a, hmm, as far as career goes, why is that like that? That's so odd. That is a weird position for that. Uh, well, basically, I think you're hesitant to do it. I think you have this this underlying hesitancy as far as doing that, right? You have this upside down. It, it's sort of that hesitancy, do I want to really jump into this full time or do I really want to do this uh, full time? And you have a lot of different factors sort of in your way. One of which is maybe, I'm kind of curious, do you, do you have this in the past where you've made money? In other words, are you making enough money to where it's sort of already a career or it's gonna sort of head to be a career? And the moon upside down just tells me maybe not. Maybe there are some factors involved that are, that are maybe a little bit of complexity within that. Um, I'm not really sure. Emily, Sabrina, Timothy, Riley, welcome back, Timothy Riley. Uh, Timothy Riley, ask your question, please. Put your question in the chat. Rowan's impressions, welcome back. So I'm kind of curious as why the moon is upside down. It's almost like this intuitive feeling that you're like, well, I'm not really sure if I should jump into that, or I'm not really sure if that's going to be my focus if I really want to sort of be there uh, and do that. And part of that is a worry of, of failure, right? It's almost like this worry of failure or things may go wrong or what happens if this goes wrong? What happens if this goes wrong? What happens? What happens? What happens? So 
there's an element of that worry, there's an element of that concern, and that concern sort of holds you back a bit and sort of pulls the reins a little, a little tighter, and it makes it sort of difficult for you to, I, I think, sort of jump into that, you know, as a full-time thing. But again, I'm kind of curious, are you making enough money to where it's almost full-time now? Are you making enough money to where it's nowhere near full-time? Uh, it, that's why I'm kind of curious is where the worry is concerned and where that's coming from. But I think that's going to get better over time. So the big key thing is to make money, right? I mean, we have it here. We, that big key thing is to make money. And once you get to that pentacle, uh, once you get to that pentacle of, of I'm making money, I'm making more money, and now I'm making a significant amount of money, I think once you get there in any project or in any endeavor uh, that you're doing as a hobby, now you're like, okay, I'm, I'm free, I, I can do this. But until you get to that point, you're never really gonna be that comfortable. Like you're saying in chat, uh, Zin Li Tao, thank you so much for the donation. Uh, don't know if I get pregnant soon, and Ta Za, thank you for the donation as well. Anise, Anise is back with Ta Za. Ta Za, did you change your name? I remember your name being something else. So until you get that money, in other words, go ahead and start it. Start it. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. I'm putting myself out there reading random people's tarot cards. I mean, how risky is that, right? So uh, go ahead and put yourself out there and try it. And I think that once you try it, once you see that you can make money, once you start making money at a certain point, you're like, okay, you know, screw it. I'm just going to do this full time kind of thing. And you're, until you get that feeling, it's going to be very difficult for you to do that. Um, but you need to go ahead and put yourself out there and try it out and see what happens. Uh, one of the things with writing, right, what was the J.K. Rowling said, how many rejections did J.K. Rowling get before she actually published those books? I remember reading something about that in one of my motivational books or whatever. It was like a ton. So don't be discouraged and don't be worried about that. Go ahead and put yourself out there and try that out. And then once you start making that money, once you start making more money, and you have that side income, and you're making enough money where you have to declare yourself as a business. You know that awkward time to where you made so much money that you have to declare yourself as a business because you're kind of worried about the IRS at that point? <laughs> so, so, I mean, it's one of those things. I mean, you talk to people and they're like, yeah, I have this business where I make tarot bags. I know this lady who makes tarot bags and she made so much money. She was like, I have no idea how to, I guess I'll just do this full time. So. And she does that full time. It was really astounding with that. But I think you have that fiery thing. Once you start making that money and you get sort of that rolling adventure going and you're more excited and you're riding more and you're more excited and you keep going, uh, the lovers tells that it's going gonna, it's gonna to go well. But you have to sort of start and get out there and do it. If you have a hobby, do it. I mean, do it. Put yourself out there. The worst thing that can happen is like J.K. Rowling had so many rejections and yet she finally succeeded start go with it enjoy it and love life and and just go with all that stuff wow it's a lot of questions jade thank you for the ten dollar donation which career field would be best for me what is my talent uh let's see uh yaylin montez general 2020 reading sure we'll get to that after taza taza did you change your name <laughs> taza just wanted to say aside that i'm going to the movies with kenneth and anise knows about it uh oh so going with the movies with Kenneth and Anise knows. Okay, well, uh, let's see. The Zin Lee Tarot. Brian Santiago, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes, baby steps always going to be important there. But yes, I mean, that's a great reading. You had great cards. You just have to sort of get moving and get, uh, get going with it. So, okay, so we're doing Angela Boho next. And Angela Boho wanted to know, how is my love life looking so far? I do like him, and liking him is going to be a good first step. AB wants to know, uh, how is my love life so far? I like him. I guess if you didn't like him, that would probably be a, a bit of a stepping stone there. But the fact that you do like him is good news. Always good news. So we'll do that real quick and find out from for AB how that's going to work out. Draw a couple of cards here. We're using the Golden Wheel Tarot. By the way, I ordered a an art tarot. It's gonna be exciting. And we have a love tarot coming. I pre-ordered that. It's supposed to be 50 cards. That's not exactly a tarot, but whatever. It's uh, a love tarot. It comes with a 96 page book or something. So I'm kind of excited to get that. That's coming. And we got uh, three other decks I pre-ordered. 
and we'll get those in about February. So let's see. Uh, Three of Cups, that is looking fairly good. How's my love life so far? Uh, yeah, I mean, you do have, I don't see anything like the Two of Cups or the Lovers or anything that would just launch me into this big adventure or anything like that. We do have the Three of Cups, which means it's going to be pretty stable. More of a frenzy. The Three of Cups is a good card. The Three is so in numerology, the three is the beginning of an adventure, the beginning of something, right? It's where it, a one is sort of that start or that beginning, but the, at the three, now you have chosen your path and you start it. It's like a start or a, a birth. They call it a birth in, in some of the books, but it's a birth of that. So you're sort of blossoming into a relationship. You're sort of blossoming into that. You're sort of uh, going through that process of that new adventure and going through that. And the three also points to friends and whatnot, but so it may end up being a friendship, may not be something very firm and solid, sort of points to both those things, but it is the beginning of that adventure, that birth of that adventure, right? The nine of wands points to that it's not going to be exactly the smoothest thing ever. And as well as eight of wands, it could be some work. And the eight of wands, when you have that eight, you have that solid work or that stable eight is a stable two 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 it's a very stable number and within that eight you're looking at is sort of a work to keep it going it's going to be an effort to keep it going if you want to start it but it's a great start it's great to start and it's going to be good for an adventure it's going to be good to go forward and it is going to be something stable that you need to work at getting stable or work at keeping it stable but uh, yeah that's looking good as for love so far so if you look at all of this uh, you're going to have some difficulties, not going to be smooth. you got a good adventure. This could be a good short-term relationship. This could be something to hop into and enjoy and have a good time and all of that. So, I mean, overall, that looks positive, and I think that's good. I would keep going with it. Sounds like that you have already started that three adventure, uh, and you do like them as well. It's going to be a great start. But overall, that is uh, fantastic. Jade, yes, the Thoth. I absolutely love the Thoth. That's my absolute favorite deck. The Zen Lee Taro wants to know if I'm going to get pregnant soon. Let's find out. Z L T M I. Uh, well, let's see. Reword this. Will I get pregnant soon? All right. Let's see. Will I get pregnant soon? Have you had difficulty getting pregnant, or have you tried getting pregnant and had no success? Is this where the the question is coming from? So I'm kind of curious as to the. The origins of the questions. Chartrellis, thank you so much for your donation. I greatly appreciate it. A general three month will be on the list here after a, a few more. Yeah, so we have a few in line here. Looks like we got Taza after that, and then Yaelin and Jade. And then we'll hop into your question. Thank you so much for your donation. Thank everyone for being here tonight. This is great. I love coming online and reading tarot. Like before I was reading tarot just for the camera for a uh, random email. And now I can come on here and interact with everyone and talk to everyone. And, and uh, Rachel, welcome. It's good to have you back as well. All right, will I get pregnant soon? So let me read the answer. If I have an answer from Zimli Tarot about, let's we'll have a son, but miscarried my second. Okay, so, all right. So we have an issue with getting pregnant before, but we have, a a, a good pregnancy before that so uh, yeah that is a, a mix there uh, basically yeah uh, yeah well, uh, basically maybe not soon as far as soon will I get pregnant soon the cards aren't looking really that positive for getting pregnant soon um, it looks like that there is love involved it looks like that there is effort Towards that, it looks like a lot of the universe wants you to move that direction and you will have success. However, it just looks like that just to maintain strength, maintain, um, you know, maintain your resolve, uh, get, keep a positive attitude, um, and, and sort of like that. But as far as getting pregnant soon, it does not look like soon. It looks like it could take a while. It looks maybe a bit delayed or it looks maybe, you know, that is something that needs to be, uh, I guess, almost like the universe just needs to, you just need to wait, basically, is what the card is saying. Have the strength, have the strength, have the resolve to keep on going and, and sort of sort of get past um, the previous issue that you had with your pregnancy, sort of get past that 
and move past that. And uh, uh, basically, yeah, it's going to be delayed. But um, as far as soon, no. Will you get pregnant? Yes. Um, have a successful pregnancy and everything goes well? Yes. Um, but again, we sort of have that, uh, that you know, that sort of that indication that yes, you will get pregnant. Yes, the, the determination is there and the strength is there, but we just have a delay. We just, it's not really going to be something that is going to just occur uh, in the soon a category type thing, if that makes sense, if that makes sense. All right, let me read any responses to that. That's kind of an important question. Uh, it just looks like it's going to be delayed, basically. All right, well, good luck with that, though. I mean, that's, that's kind of hard. That's always, that's always difficult, and I'm sorry to hear that you had the issues with one of them, so. All right, uh, let's see. Taza, Taza, did you change your name? Update a romantic situation with Anise. So you're going out with somebody else, but Anise knows. Uh-oh. All right. Uh, Taza, let's see. Relation with A. Uh, going out with others, they know. All right, so let's find out. Hopefully they don't watch the video. Uh, let's, hopefully they don't watch the video. If you're watching the video, that's why I put A in there. All right, so let's find out. Let's use the Light Sears Tarot. The Light Sears Tarot is always a great deck to use. By the way, I'm getting a Love Tarot. It's coming uh, mid-January. It should be shipping. So it is from Amazon. So in other words, I'll get it about March as per the usual Amazon schedule. Uh, so yeah, but it is a love tarot. It's 50 cards, which is an oracle, not a tarot, but whatever. And uh, it has a nice book and I'm kind of excited. So the box front said 25 cards, but the book says 50 cards. And then the description says 50 cards, but the title says 25 cards. So I've I tweeted the person that made the thing and I asked him, like, what's going on? Like, how many cards is there? All right, because we had that question uh, on um, uh, Zach's chat that he had, the Tiger's Abyss. We're like, we have no idea how many cards are in this thing. Okay, so the situation with Anise. So you're going out with somebody else. Let's see, I'll find that message. You're going out with somebody else, advised going to movies with Kenneth and Anise knows about it. So let's find out what Kenneth thinks and what's going on with Anise. Um, yeah, they know that you're going out and it, apparently it does sort of bother them. Uh, we have the six of swords, right? You're going out, we have that movement, we have that sort of that emotional move as well. So, I mean, you are cognizant of this other person, even though you're interested in person B. So you're going out with person A and you go, and then person B is on your mind because you're asking me about that as well. So we have that emotional split, a lot of emotional indecisions. And you see that sort of with the two of pentacles as well. Um, there's a bunch of indecision within that or a bunch of indecisions on how to do that. So what does Anise feel? The romantic situation with A? The romantic situation is basically going to be sort of, uh, sort of changed a bit because they know about that. And now they're sort of curious. Maybe this isn't something that's that's too decided. When I say decided, you know what I'm saying? When you have the two of pentacles, you have those choices or those options, and you have options between two different people. And so you're sort of trying out two different people, and then you notice with one person is really going out with different people, or they're doing things uh, with, could be romantic with other people, etc. and you're just sort of confused at this point. You're like, I know I'm not really hooked in. I'm not really that committed person yet. But, you know, kind of now you're wondering what's going on, you know, with their date, with someone else's date, even though that you have it. So does that make sense? I'm scared to get close. Yeah. So that Six of Swords sort of shows that. I mean, you're going out with other people and it is going to affect the other person. I'm the master of the obvious here. It's going to affect another person when you go out with a different person. So if you thought that you personally dating this person and the person that you're dating is going out with other people. It's going to affect you. I mean, that's massive, obviously. And you see that with the Queen of Swords, sort of just sort of introspection, um, just sitting there wondering about communicating, wondering about moving forward, if things are going, and that choices comes up. Now, they have, you know, Zinli Tarot has choices. They have choices on what they want to do or who they want to be with, and how does that affect me? Is this relationship really going forward or is it going backward? And that's a lot of the Queen of Swords with that introspection kind of thing. And again, you know, you're going out but thinking about somebody else. 
So again, you're undecided as well. A lot of these cards, they're just not making eye contact. They're looking away or something like that. And the introspection for the Queen of Swords is also looking over here to the choices. Now they're wondering, should I be making different choices because this other person, Zin Li Taro, is making their choices. So again, a lot of confusion, a lot of different things going on. So if you want to know how the romantic situation is going, um, you know, you're scared to get close. You sort of can have to move past that, right, and have that strength. If you're frightened to move close, it's going to be important to have strength or have that strength available and to use that to get closer to the person that you really want. So it seems like, you know, shop around, but ultimately you need to make a choice and pursue that choice, even if it fails, and have that strength and move forward with that. That's basically what it's saying. So, I mean, obviously you can't go out with somebody different and still have that. All right, Timothy Riley, uh, thank you for your question. Timothy, I'm going to make a dedicated video for you. I know that I owe you a reading. So now that I have your question, I'm going to make a dedicated video for you tomorrow. So look for that uh, tomorrow as well. So sorry about that. I didn't know I would get bombed with questions, but I'm going to make a dedicated video for you, my friend. And because I know that I missed you, or you gave a donation, I missed you before. So all right, Yalen Montez, welcome to the stream, by the way. If you're new, please hit subscribe. We have 700 videos to choose from. I made my own Oracle deck, and that is about to be released on Kickstarter. The Kickstarter is done. They're just verifying my account and all that good stuff. So if you like these cards, we're going to have a ton of these. And I have a prototype on the way uh, as well from my final printer. General 2020 reading. Here we go. Let's try that out. We use the trimmed Connolly deck. Rachel Henderson, thank you so much for your subscription. I greatly appreciate it. Check the videos out and see if there's anything in there that you like. I got 700 of them, so hopefully there's something in there that you enjoy. The TDM course is my current thing. We're going to be starting a Sola Busca course as well. And after the TDM, we're going to start some Kabbalah things and all of that so i turned that the wrong way i wanted to remove reversals from this deck because i don't like reversals in this particular deck for whatever reason all right so uh the question is general 2020 reading for yalen am i pronouncing that right yalen yalen uh general 2020 here we go general 2020 all right um i'm actually kind of curious here the star we need one more Thing for the Queen for sure okay uh, general 2020 uh, basically judgment you have some things that are sort of up in the air you have some things that are sort of in motion in your life and in the beginning of 2020 February March ish things are gonna sort of settle down with those particular things it's almost like judgment if you have uh, some legal issues or you have some other issues going on and there's just sort of that turmoil going on in various aspects of it uh, so that's going to sort of settle down and it's not going to be as as bad as let's see view deleted messages okay i need to remove the caps I need to remove the caps thing so it's not going to be as bad or it's going to settle down everything's not going to be as sort of turmoil a lot of turmoil that you had maybe in 2019 is not going to be as bad uh, it's going to sort of settle down with the judgment as well as is if you're having some legal thing or some legal concerns or whatever those are going to work out for you it's going to work out for you early as well so the four sort of means that uh again we're settling down with that shirazi thank you so much for your subscription i greatly appreciate it so uh the four sort of points to that rest or that that barrier and within this card we have sort of that barrier between and Rena, Rena Manrique, thank you for joining the, uh, thank you for the subscription as well. So, okay, so true, there we go. All right, so that's gonna sort of settle down. It's time for rest. In other words, it's time to start trying so hard at some of the things that you've been uh, trying really hard with. It's time to sort of let things happen or let things relax. And uh, sometimes we have a really tight grip on things or we have a very, a strict view of how things should go and it's time to sort of get rid of some of that or ease some of that with the rest card because it's sort of creating a barrier between you and some other people right between the barrier here if you watch my um, 
complete tarot course, I'll talk about barriers and sort of creating a barrier between you and other people. And it's important to sort of maintain that um, and, and do that and get the relationships back or recovered that could be have uh, either affected or lost or has some sort of a negative impact for just this too tight of a control or too restrictive of a control that you've had before. So the star means work on your meditation or work on the types of things that sort of get you in the zone, if that makes sense. So work on meditation or work on relaxation or do the things within sort of the, that you do to sort of, uh, to sort of get away from the real world and just sort of get into yourself and sort of get into your intuition and sort of hop in to that relaxing point or that good point that, that, you, that you've always known about, but sometimes it's difficult to get. And that's gonna be important in the year because you're gonna receive some intuitive insights this year that you have not had before, and that's gonna lead you to a bunch of good things. So it's very uh, gonna be a very comfortable year for you as far as intuition goes, and you're gonna be able to use that towards the end of the year where we have the Ace of Swords, where you have a sort of a, a new adventure per se. You're gonna meet uh, you're gonna meet an Aries woman, and the Aries woman is gonna point you to something that you really have been wanting as far as hobbies are concerned. So it's not a big career move, but it's sort of a hobby, or it's sort of how hobbies are concerned. You've been in a couple of hobbies, uh, you've had some interests, and you haven't really dived into those, and you're gonna meet someone towards the end of 2020 that is really into that and can help you and guide you in a lot of ways. And it's also gonna be inspiring for you as well, and uh, that's gonna be, a, that looks like a pretty good 2020, so uh, good luck, and that looks, it's been meditation often lately. Yeah, just hop into that. Grab, um, you know, grab one of these free YouTube videos that they have that talk about the meditation and guide you through and all that. There's a bunch of these. All right, Jay, uh, let's see, what is my talent? What career career should I jump into? Let's find out about that, and then we will move on to, uh, Chartrellis, we'll move on to Chartrellis for a general three month. All right, cool. So let's do Jade. Let's see, what, what would you be good at? Uh, career field best for me. All right, try that out. And for that one, let's use, let's use the Forest of Enchantment. The Forest of Enchantment is gonna be the wrong tarot for this. I can tell already, I can tell already. I know already uh, what I want for a career field. We want the modified M.M. Merlin's modified thought. We'll do that. Modified thought. I don't like this in a lot of respects in a lot of ways. This is not one of my favorite decks because some of the images are kind of butchered. So a lot of the images that I rely on for the thought are just not uh, here. And yeah, it's you know sort of an iffy thing at times. 40 people watching. That's great for Monday night. Monday night, it's usually like about 15. Welcome everyone that's watching. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not currently. Oh, I don't like this one reverse. Please subscribe if you're not currently subscribed, by the way. And I love, even though I unreversed it, it reversed itself. Okay, so let's do a general reading for 2020. And let's get that. The camera is skewed a bit to the right, so we have to adjust it in real life. There we go. All right, so uh, career field that is best for me. Two of Wands, Dominion, Seven of Wands, Valor, Satiety. Uh, what is the What is the Prince doing? Okay, so this is stability, basically stability. The Prince, the Prince is sort of. See, they butchered. There's, it's not a seed pods anymore. It's just this conglomeration of sand. It look, anyway, I don't. Uh, no, I'm not a fan. And then Love Upside Down. All right, what career field is best for you? Ah, uh, sure. Seven of Wands, Dominion, City. I'm not sure how you pull a career field from this. I'm really thinking, just from looking at this and just from looking across, that you would be good at sales, basically selling things. It seems like that you have that ability to sell things. You have that ability to sort of get into sales. Now, sales doesn't really mean going door to door or selling things or selling things on the phone or something like that. There's a lot of different things that you can do as far as selling things or promoting things or promoting things, making presentations, making uh, those types of things. If you're good at the computer and you're good at making presentations or talking to people, you seem to have this ability to where, from this, you seem to have this ability to where you can 
get excited about something and other people get excited as well. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So you're hyped about something and you talk about it and now all of the other, the other person now gets his phone and now they're looking at what you're talking about. They instantly look it up while you're talking. You know what I'm saying? There's that quality about you that you can do that. So you can get excited about something and other people get excited about it as well. Secondly, just a huge variety of fields, basically, to where you're just sort of promoting or selling things. And you can do this electronically by making promotions or making things and then, you know, having people excited about it and then selling it. You can, like, in other words, you can make items. You can get excited about it, make some videos and, and have people go and check it out. Maybe they'll be excited about it as well. You can also do sales. You can also do sales for other people. In other words, train people to be uh, a better salesperson or train people in the area of sales. But it seems that you have that ability. It's sort of like an empathy almost, except an empathy with excitement or empathy about something. So let's say you like the hanging on card and you're really excited about that. You talk to somebody about it, you're gonna notice 40 things about the hanging on card that people love. And you're gonna be like, I love this because uh, let's say the, the fur is realistic or the eyes really sort of jump out or the the colors are sort of bland on this particular card, but whatever. Uh, let's, we'll use personal space. We're excited about personal space because the it actually looks like somebody's out there, and and we have the you know the the highlighting, etc. So you can have that ability, and you're able to do that. And the Prince of Dis says that you could sort of do something like that as a career, right? Because he has the seed pods that are that are going out and sort of planting that and it's very stable, it has a touristy feel as well. And interference upside down means that you can break through a lot of people's interference or a lot of people's hesitations in regards to uh, you know, wanting a particular thing or, or, or sort of envying a particular thing. Again, if this, all this makes sense. So I think you would be good in that sort of field. You'd be good at talking and getting people excited about something and relaying your excitement as well. So if you really do genuinely love the personal space card and you you want to sell and you want to tell people about it you're going to do that and you're going to do it with enough enthusiasm that it just catches on so i think you have that in, that catching on enthusiastic thing as far as career food would best i think it would be best within that again we have the satiety the ten of cups that beautiful flow of everything is flowing and everything is going and everything is coming back and it's going to be able to that communication that you do almost emotionally almost unconsciously as far as that as well valor that promotional aspect that that the success i have success and i love this thing and i'm passionate about this thing and valor just sort of blossoms out of that dominion the the two the choices here are the choices again so anyway i'm sort of explaining where this is coming from the two i have these choices between this and that and i want to choose this and here's why and it's that powerful feel that powerful uh the powerful wands within there and again planting the seed pods, that stability, that stability to earn something, and interference being reversed, meaning, oh man, they really butchered that card. Interference reversed, meaning you don't have the interference more, you break through that interference. I really was hesitant about buying this, but now that, that Jade said something, I'm kind of excited. I'm, I'm, I'm all excited about the personal space card or whatever. So the Two of Cups love, uh, I think it's going to be something where you can get into it and you can get passionate about it. And uh, as you have success with it, I think it'll be going well. Raina, thank you so much uh, for the donation. I appreciate it. We'll do your reading after. Uh, we have another one before that. Scroll up. There's a lot of chat. Sorry, I'm not really reading chat. I'm really getting into the, the readings and all that good stuff. Uh, so, so Chartrellis wants to know. Chartrellis? I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let me know if I'm butchering your name, sorry about that. Uh, let's see, we'll just say SH wants to know general three month reading. Three months, all right. We'll do general three months. So we'll cover now until April, I guess. That is a lot of chat. Let me catch up on chat real quick. Big, uh, big brain energy, welcome. Thank you so much. Friendship in 2020, Rowan's impressions, welcome back. Emily, welcome back as well. Tear the golden wheel indeed. Shasta uh, is not a terrible good wheel. Big brain energy. Uh, let's see, Rachel, welcome back. It's good to see you. Jen, hey, Jen, how you doing? Uh, Shasta, and then Jay says, good wheel for September Tarot. Another one that just showed Amethyst and Turner. I have not seen you before. Welcome. 
Turner, uh, if you have not hit subscribe, please hit subscribe and check it out. We have 700 videos to choose from and all that good stuff. Any love from me to Trellis, you're pronouncing it cor correctly. Wow, I, uh, I usually butcher names. That's good that I pronounce it correctly. I like your name, it's a really nice name. All right, so, so Trellis wants a general three months and we'll tackle that. And afterwards, we will jump into Raina's question and then Word Girl, thank you so much for your donation as well. We'll jump into your question. So we got three in the queue and we're now like 45 minutes in. So we're gonna finish up with Word Girl and Word Girl will be the last question. So we're ending soon. We got three questions and then we'll wrap this up because I need to stretch my legs and eat dinner and grab some water and all that other good stuff. Speaking of water, all right, so general three months. Let's see what we got. So how is everyone doing? It is Monday. How's everyone's Monday? Snarky star. Welcome. And word girl, hi. Emma said, big brain energy, that's it. We're all good guys who read her name. <laughs> all right. So I'll see, well, general three months, we will use the, you know what this is, the Wonderland Tarot, one of my favorites. All right, we use this. And I don't like reversals with this one either. All right, we use this. We'll go with that one. And a few. There's always that anticipation and excitement. You never really know what's behind door number one. <coughs> Sid Foley, welcome back. I remember Sid. I remember you. I like your name. All right, general three months. And we'll twist them. Because the camera is at an angle for some reason today. So we will twist it a bit and go for that. Uh, three of swords. What challenges are you going through right now? Did you specify you specified you're single? Uh, no, no, no. Raina specified that she was single. Okay. So let me see if you said anything other than general three months. Nope. All right. We're going to go with this. So, uh, all right. So three of swords, the heartbreak card or the difficulty card. It seems that you're coming off of maybe a relationship or you're coming off of some difficulties. Three of Swords is never just the best card to have as far as a general reading, but it does sort of tell me that you're coming out of this. You're coming out of almost a heartbreak or a difficult situation that was sort of, uh, that was sort of disconcerting for a while or it had some challenges involved, right? So it's one of the, one of the big issues with the Three of Swords, it's a sort of hard to read in a general setting. In a relationship setting, it would mean that you had heartbreak. In a general setting, we're moving towards the Three of Swords being either heartbreak or some big challenge that you just came off of, or maybe some uh, hit uh, emotionally that you got from something like that. So the Three of Swords points to that. We're sort of recovering from that. So the first three months, right? Three months is a pretty short span of time. We have a lot of cards because we like big spreads, but uh, the Three of Swords tells us that you're going to recover from that. We're going to move on from that. You do have a relationship opportunity, the Ace of Cups. The start of some relationship or the start of some type of relationship is going to really sort of be a pretty good relationship as well. The next card in line is going to be the Four of Wands, and that's sort of the home card or where everyone comes home and everyone has that stability. We have that rock solid four of wands to where we get to relax at home or we get to feel at home with someone else in this case. So relationship opportunity, uh, you're gonna feel at home with this person. It's gonna be someone that you're comfortable talking with, comfortable hanging out with, and you're gonna have that, that, you know, that nice new relationship thing going on. Manda, hello, welcome. Cheryl, this is the uh, Wonderland Tarot, Wonderland Tarot. So you're gonna have that nice relationship, that nice feel that comes out of that. And it's gonna be nice. However, the Eight of Swords is gonna be a relatively short-term relationship. Immediately after you get that relationship involved, immediately after things sort of settle down and sort of calm down with the relationship, you sort of want to move on or you have that bit of being restrictive. So we have this sort of a relationship four card spread within here, meaning what's in general for three months is gonna be an emotional cycle. It's gonna be an emotional uh, emotional walk, and the emotional walk is gonna be moving from a place of 
bad emotions or moving from a place of maybe a bit of being down or a bit of challenges or maybe you know breaking up from one relationship and moving on to another and all that and moving on to a bigger better relationship but again the relationship is going to be a short-term one it's not going to be something where you're just going to get married and or be in there for the rest of your life or what have you it's going to be a short-term relationship or a short-term connection with someone special so that's going to be a good thing so the five of wands upside down uh eventually this again when i'm talking about short term because we do have that stable ace well not stable we have do have that invoking ace of cups to where we have that invoking a new uh a new connection a new emotion a new uh a new type of empathy towards someone else and again we it becomes a stable relationship becomes something stable uh in our lives but then we feel trapped we feel closed in we need to get out there's something you know we need to adjust or it's something that we didn't like it once we got into it so it looked good from the outside but once you get into it it didn't look that good type of, of, of feeling and the five of wands the conflict upside down that conflict upside down sort of points to a resolution of that by getting away or a resolution of that somehow so we do have that closed in we do have those negative emotions that sort of hit after a while maybe sort of a stagnation that hits after a while but you're able to get out of that and everything is able to be okay from that so it's a relatively short-term relationship you're going to meet someone and everything will be you know in turmoil after a while but you're able to sort of relax that and get out of that and not be you know stuck uh within that situation for like a long period of time so that's basically uh the three months the three months is sort of pointing us towards uh, a relationship pointing us towards a new emotion a new adventure within emotion stability factor being closed in and then sort of moving out of that and getting free of that and getting free from that conflict so if that makes sense uh, let me know that is the general three months and again this was the Wonderland Tarot by Barbara Moore Barbara Moore has another deck coming out she hires other people to draw it but she writes the text and it is good it is some good stuff there anyway let me know if that resonates and thank you so much for your donation i greatly appreciate it that's very cool so we want a general 2020 for reyna we'll do reyna i believe i'm pronouncing that one correctly as well hopefully let's see reyna wants to know a general 2020 uh she's single all right so let's see capricorn 77 thank you for your donation i greatly appreciate it we'll do word girl and then we'll wrap it up for the night. I'm back every night. I'm here every night as per that right there. I'm here every night at 6.30. So if you didn't get your question tonight, hop back on tomorrow night and we'll get to your question then. All right, let's see. So we want a general 2020 and she is single. Hopefully we have some love connection coming. Could be work, could be a bunch of different things. Could be moving. So let's find out what we have for that general 2020 going there. I think it's going to be something interesting. I can already tell. I can already tell. One of those things, after you do a few thousand of these, you can already tell it's something interesting. And here we go. All righty then. Uh, yeah, that is definitely something interesting. So let's grab one more card. Just because something else is going on. All right. So let's look at the general reading. So we have the five of cups the five of cups is that disappointment um sort of that disappointment everything is not going as well as it could it's not going as well as it should as far as a general 2020 reading starts out with that starts out with a bit of a down or a bit of a, a bit of a challenge coming into 2020 it's almost like that you sort of had a challenge sort of creeping in already and you're sort of trying just to move past that or move through that uh no general love reading okay so we want a love reading all right let's see we'll change that shasta oh no oh no what whoa love reading 2020 she's single all right Rainy, we got you we got you love reading no general always miss getting my turn said foley said be on i'm online every night guys and weekends i'm on twice morning and night so i'm here a lot Pretty reliable, pretty reliable. A love reading. Yes, I'm doing your love reading. Let me fix the spelling on that real quick. Uh, let's say love redig. It is reading. There we go. All right. 
some love of reading. Are you coming out of, so this is for Raina, are you coming out of a love? Are you coming out of something? Are you coming out of something that could have been? Or are you coming out of something that happened that wasn't exactly the best thing? Or something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Love reading. We're doing love reading. So, are you coming out of a love? Re or, uh, are you coming out of a failed relationship? Are you coming out of a challenged relationship? Are you coming out of something? That's basically what it's saying right now as far as the Five of Cups. We have a challenge. It's almost like you came out of something and it wasn't all that well and it didn't go that well and you had a bit of challenges or things sort of happened as far as that. But it's almost like that you're you're moving towards something else or you're moving towards a different uh, a different relationship. So the relationship is going to be a sort of a, a delayed one. Let's see, message deleted. Love reading. We're working on a love reading. So the message is sort of a delayed one. In other words, you're going to get into, um, so can you specify when you say love reading, you're saying that a lot. So your original question said you wanted a general. So understand that, let's see, message deleted. So you want a love reading. So can you specify what love reading you want? Do you want a love reading for someone that you just met? Or do you want a general reading as to what love will bring you? Or can you specify sort of what you want? At this, at this point, I'm kind of confused as to what you want uh, on the reading. Shasta. Okay, so Shasta, uh, word grow after that. My friend Saba still talking to my Libra, or is it over? We'll move to you in just a minute. So thanks. All right, I must be delayed or something. Okay, anyway, so we'll go with the general love reading, the love reading. So we'll go with that. So it comes coming out of something that wasn't successful, coming out of something that may have been challenging, and we're moving towards something. It's almost like you're moving or you're trying to, yeah, it could be a divorce, that's true. All right, so something like you're moving, something made you move or the previous thing made you move or you had some challenges with that separated okay so you're separated and someone had to move or something like that we have the chariot so we have that movement we have that that separation that five of cups things didn't go well you had to sort of get into a different kind of groove or get into a different kind of thing uh, as far as a new relationship goes a new relationship looks delayed we have a lot of delayed cards type coming in as far as getting back uh, as far as separated and getting back uh, that looks challenged as well we just have a bit of a delay it looks like there's going to be a delay in getting a new relationship started or getting a new relationship sort of cranked out it looks like that the previous uh, upset or the previous type of your separation and going through that and it seems like the 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 that fall down of that particular item and all of that see yeah separate beds as well yeah so fall down or different type of thing is sort of getting that and making that challenged and as far as a new love is concerned it looks like that's going to be a bit delayed so let's read the rest of it a lot of this is sort of like trying to get past the separation or trying to get past that and trying to figure out at some point there is a mixture of do i need to get a full divorce do i stay separated and move on or how does that go do i get back with this person so i assume if you're separated that's not exactly going to be the uh, the best the best situation and whatnot but yeah so the hierophant sort of points me to that do i want to get back together versus do i want to move on do i want to find a different relationship and I think you're sort of still in that space almost. It's, at least it's what the cards say. You're in that space. So you're in that space of, should I get back? Should I not? What happened? You know, what can I do to fix? And as the pieces sort of get picked up um, through this, then it's going to be difficult to sort of get back into the groove or get back into that, I want to get a new relationship and, and stuff like that. So it's going to be a delay with getting that in, it's gonna be caused by what you previously had gone through. And again, you're sort of in that method of, you know, what should happen as far as the Hierophant or what should happen as far as the, the marriage goes. Should it be moved into a divorce? Should it be keep it separated and I go find someone else or what is exactly going on? So we have that rest period again, the delay, the four swords points me to that rest, that delay that we're looking at as far as moving on, the delay as far as 
trying to pick up the pieces, trying to figure out what went wrong, how do I avoid this in the next iteration of a relationship and things like that. So again, we're looking at a lot of different factors here. And um, uh, the Nine of Swords sort of calling out the end of the reading points me to that delay. So if that makes sense, uh, hopefully that resonates. But uh, yeah, I mean, for the love reading, it's going to be it's going to be one of those difficult times and challenging times to try to figure out how to deal with the current situation and then how to move on successfully and then how to avoid the situation that you just had again, right? So in other words, if you just had, uh, let's say, a, a, a car wreck or something, and now you're back to driving, now you're constantly going to be sort of thinking about how not to have that car wreck again. Does that make sense? So say something happened in front of you, now you're sort of worried or now you sort of want to try to find out how to avoid that in the future and it seems that that's a sort of a, a mixture of what's going on now anyway thank you for your question and your donation i greatly appreciate it word girl word girl what an awesome name everyone has such awesome names and then i, I name myself tara oracle that's really boring uh friend saba still talking to my libra or is it over all right, so your friend Saba, are they still talking to your Libra or is it over? Thank you, by the way, Word Girl, for that donation. I greatly appreciate it. For this one, we'll use the thought. No, we we'll use the, uh, we we'll use the This Might Hurt Tarot. This Might Hurt Tarot. One of my favorites. I think they're all my favorites. I absolutely love Tarot. Well, this one popped out. That's going to be your first card. It leaped out. It leaped out. It wants to communicate with all of us. And figure out what's happening. All right. Let's see here. So our first card is going to be the Page of Cups. There's the Five of Wands and the High Priest and the Three of Swords. Let's grab one more card with the Page of Cups. We'll do this one and get that combination in and see how that goes. All right. So the Ace of Wands. So the question is: My friend Salva still talking to my Libra? Is it over? As far as is it over? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Three of Swords sort of ending out. Three of Swords, not exactly the best card to end out the, the evening with, but we're going to have to take it. We're going to have to take it as it goes. And the Five of Wands points to that conflict. The High Priestess points to finding that, that, more, that more, almost that more intuitive nature or that more finding ourselves and trying to get through things and then the heartbreak. So your friend self is still talking to your Libra. Is it over? It looks like it's over. So let's dive in a bit more. It looks like that, that there's something have the page of cups, right? Sort of that new emotion or that new feel of emotion, uh, sort of went, went goodbye. It sort of went away. A lot of different emotions sort of went away. And we see the ace of wands, like I need to move on. I need to do something different and maybe I don't need to take the same path that I've been taking this whole time. So the path that I went through, the, the thing that I've gone through with the with the, your Libra is not really working out. The Page of Cups means a bit too on the uh, emotional hit side or a bit too on the emotional immaturity side almost. It's almost like they found a certain point where the person is not exactly the most mature emotionally and it becomes difficult to talk and the ace of wands sort of move need to move out of this direction or need to move away from this particular page of wands if that makes sense so there could have been some difficulties involved with a lot of different communications between them uh, a lot of times they maybe just didn't agree or they went head to head with some conflicts or something like that but yeah, the high priestess sort of means now we have that that better alternative or that that higher level of of consciousness almost that we want to reach towards, and now it sort of hits us, right? We come back into our regular brain, and not our love brain, but our regular brain that says, "Hey, maybe this isn't the best type of situation. Maybe this isn't how I want to move forward. Maybe this isn't something." that's going to be productive for me in long term. And it seems that we sort of hit that. We hit that emotional sticking point where we just need to move forward. We just need to move out of the situation that we're in. So five of wands again point to that conflict. Conflict started almost by let's get out of here. 
Let's find out how to move out of the situation and whatnot. Three of Swords ultimately points me to, uh, your question is directly, are they still talking to, or is it over? Again, this is for entertainment purposes only, so never take uh, anything as advice or uh, that a random guy on YouTube is reading your tarot. But it looks like it's over as far as your question is concerned. I would lean towards it's over the Three of Swords. There's a very, very poignant card pointing to, yes, it's over. We could have the Ten of Swords, which would be even more obvious that, yes, it's over. Maybe death, yes, it's over. But the Three of Swords, I think, does the job. And as you can see from the picture and all of that, so it sort of does the job, and it does the job quite well, according to the picture as well. So, yes, it is over indeed. So hopefully that makes sense, and hopefully that sort of uh, rounds that out. All right. I appreciate everyone watching tonight. Greatly appreciate all of your donations and watching me and all of your time as well. So thank you again for all that. Thank you for all the subscriptions and the donations and the questions. And I have had a ton of fun tonight. This has been really fun. So again, thank you for watching. And I'll be here tomorrow night as well. If you didn't get your question answered, I will uh, try to get it tomorrow. So please come back and we'll try that then. Again, I'm here every night. so. I'm pretty reliable, and on the weekends I'm here twice a day, morning and night. So you get four hours of me on the weekend. So again, the Kickstarter for this, I finished the Kickstarter, and the Kickstarter is being approved, and once it's approved at the end of the month, we'll come out with my Oracle deck. So this is coming soon. It's gonna be $39, and it's gonna be available to ship anywhere in the world. Wherever you are, I will ship it to you. And it comes with a book, all that good stuff, an online book. And if you want a printed book, that's a few dollars extra. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.